I'm honored to be here tonight to accept this award on behalf of Carol and Jerry. Um, they were remarkable people and they gave so much of themselves and in doing so they enriched so many lives. As the current local coordinator and a coach for the Bristol Special Olympics, I have a privilege of leading a program that they spent 25 years building. This is their legacy. Through their compassion, <clears throat> through their compassion to help individuals with disabilities and their knowledge of physical fitness, they built the foundation of the Bristol Special Olympics program and is today. It's a program that provides training and competition year round in a variety of sports to over 60 athletes. What they did for these athletes is amazing and it will go on and on in time. They, they give them not only the opportunity to train and to learn new, new sports, they help them build confidence. Um, they give them pride, and they gave them a forum to come out and make a lot of new friends. Carol and Jerry's selfless dedication to the Special Olympics and all the athletes is an inspiration to me, to all of my coaches, and I can't think of two people more deserving of this award. And I thank you for this award on their behalf. Unfortunately, due to health reasons, the Carpenter family could not be here tonight to accept this award in person. Um, Jerry's father, Chester, and his sister, Kathy, um, have graciously asked us to read a letter that they wrote on um, their behalf tonight. So Dave will read that for them. Thank you. These are the words uh, Jerry's father, 91-year-old Chester, sent to us uh, to read to you on their behalf. Born on Decoration Day, May 30th, 1949, seems like ages ago with all the water under the bridge into Jerry's future. Never a dull moment. His day was to do something different and new every day. Couldn't wait to go to school. Elementary grades, then high school in Newport was his cup of tea. New faces, new friends, and into Boy Scouts and summer camp to try golf and other sports in due time. His main achievement in skiing at J-Pay uh, in, uh, in high school was learning how to jump and try out for downhill. Jerry's first successful flight, the 10-meter jump, was his trip to the moon. <laughs> After college came a few short years teaching fourth grade that pointed the way to special, uh, specialization in, in adaptive ed at American International in Springfield, Mass. in the 70s. That year led him to Bristol, where a new approach focused on needs of handicapped students was in, in, introduced. He learned to do by doing, and after, after that admitted to me it was learning, it was a learning process for him beyond what he accomplished with his classes. The Bristol education system was his ticket to a successful career in teaching. He had the support of wonderful professionals who provided the facilities required in the classroom. Just down in the hall in the principal's office, he found the school secretary who became his wife and helpmate. Carol Ellis, the, the, lady, the lady to go to for answers. No matter what the question pertained to, she would know the answer that pair could be found in the school at civic groups, the Mount Festival, and later on at the, on the athletic fields as officials in track and field. Their final goal was the 2012 Olympic Games in London. When Carol's last illness became evident, she insisted that Jerry continue towards that goal. They both knew the decision was in the hands of the Lord. Now, going back to the earlier days, we had a summer camp on a small lake that the family enjoyed. We acquired an old town canoe that needed TLC with plastic <laughs> to repair the canvas and a small sail outrigger in place. Jerry proceeded in the art of sailing. After a couple of spills, he was on, <laughs> he was on a level with the instructor. History was in the making. <laughs> 
Month Festival of Years for Jerry and Carol was a natural endeavor to make them to give back to their community. Trips to Vermont were sometimes cut short due to commitments for summer games and the parades. Christmas celebration was a special time each year for Jerry to have a gift for every one of his students. The tree ornaments made by his mother were a challenge and a highlight of his school year. His career was ever marked by, assistance, uh, by the assistance of com community support by many. Bristol was his hometown, forever properly described by the Yankee adage, as long as the grass grows and the water flows. Our family extends sincere, uh, sincere appreciation for the recognition bestowed on Jerry and Carol Carpenter in this celebration of memories. May their deeds live on as an encouragement to others. Thank you. Thank you.